Hey YouTubers, Steven here. How's everybody doing? Well, I'm surprised I haven't made this video before today, but here it is. One of my favorite sandwiches. I really like having the egg and ham cheese sandwiches, you know, you, on the English muffin you get in certain restaurants. I won't mention any names, they don't need any free plugs, right? But, you know, there's more than one that makes the same sandwiches, so I digress. Uh, one's not usually, you know, very filling for me. I'm a pretty big guy, as most people know. So, uh, you know, I started making my own, and, uh, well, they are filling here. So let me move the camera and show you what I did. We get a slice of ham. Hopefully that turns out pretty good. Local grocery store uh, packages it in four. Um, and these are great for sandwiches. And grab our egg. Now, my, I know my stove is tilted, that's why I oriented everything this way. I also break the yolk, too. Alright, we'll get this cooking and we'll be right back here. Now for a flip. This ham smells really nice. And I've gone ahead and I've already buttered my bread and I put the cheese on it. Uh, this is also a good time um, to add jam to the bread before you put cheese on it. I've tried strawberry and I've tried raspberry. Raspberry by far uh, comes out better with the egg and the ham and with the sweetness. But um, strawberry is okay. But grape jelly is a definite no. Don't do grape jelly. That's... It just makes everything too soggy, but I digress. Alright, we are ready. I'm going to slap the egg on that. I'll bring my plate over. And take one hand. Place my grilled cheese down, and then... Ooh, be careful where you're moving the ham, because it is hot. <laughs> Obviously. Now we're going to put a little cheese on the top. This will act as a glue. But not a full dose of cheese. So we already did that on the bottom. I'm sure you'd all like to use the bathroom tomorrow. thing I do is I check the, how soft the crust is on the bottom. If it's really soft, then it, it's not browned up yet. Um, and you can try this if you haven't already. Is when it gets just a little crispy and you get a little resistance, it's usually just right to flip. So we'll see. All right. It seems like it's a little crispy. All right. Now this little trick you're going to need two things because if not it's going to flip apart and instead of using two spatulas I just use the knife but make sure you don't scratch your pan you don't want to touch your pan with with your knife so we're going to just gently flip it over and then just slide it down the knife look at that perfect some may say that's a little well done my wife would definitely say that's well done but in my books I think that's perfect all right, can't wait till the other side's done. All right, hopefully I don't burn my mouth on this, but look, yummy. Look at the steam coming off of that. Like, yeah, I'm probably going to burn my mouth eating this. <laughs> but, bon appetit. It's hot, very hot, but mm, so very delicious. But like I mentioned earlier, um, adding some raspberry jam to the bread uh, before you put the cheese on it, it's just, I don't know, it's undescribable. Like the sweetness from raspberry jam just, you know, really brings out the ham, brings out the eggs, something about the cheese, like there's something about the sweetness. Um, strawberry jam is good, like I mentioned. Um, grape. You can't spread it thin enough. Uh, it just, you know, just makes the bread totally soggy when you're done. And 
don't get me wrong, <laughs> I thoroughly enjoyed the one that I made with grape jelly, but yeah, not ideal. I mean, grilled cheese are, are greasy enough as they are, but uh, you know, for your, uh, you're looking for a weekend indulgence, you know, without running to, you know, a fast food place to get egg, cheese, and ham on a sandwich, well, here you go. It's quick, easy, and oh, so yummy. So anyway, so I hope you enjoyed the video. hope you give it a try, and if you do, let me know in the comments below what you think of it. But uh, until next time, uh, be hungry.